Hey guys, it's Shirley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and I'm going to do it in two parts because it's quite a bit. I spent a little over $80. Life is a twin mom. This is my life. Welcome to it. Part one is going to be all of the beauty items that I bought and also some of the things that I bought for the boys uh, Easter baskets. And then stay tuned for part two because that is gonna have like a bunch of stationary stuff that I bought, some really cute um, stationary items, and then some randomness that I was really excited about, some just random items. So the first thing that I bought for beauty items are this is my little puff. Um, so they tell you that you should replace these puffs like every two to three weeks and at CVS these are two for five so I thought this is a great deal but some of these can be really cheap I've bought these before not from the Dollar Tree other places and they come apart when you like wash your body like after a while it just all like starts coming apart so I'm gonna try these if these work I will definitely stock up on a couple months worth for my husband and I because that's a really good deal all right so the first nail polish that I'm gonna show you is this one by Maybelline it's their color show they have a whole line of these like polka dot type nail polishes this one's in Dottie 65 it has like a pinkish base to it and some black and white sparkles I thought that'd be cute the next ones I bought are by Sally Hansen I love Sally Hansen nail polish they are probably close to my favorite like drugstore I mean other than like Essie and OPI but I love Sally Hansen this is their extreme wear um, hard as nails I normally pay about four bucks a pop for these so I thought this was a steal at the Dollar Tree this one kind of has like a pearl color to it. It's actually called Pearl Up in the number 180. The next one I bought is this pink one and I'm in love with this pink one. It's kind of a bubblegum pink. Again, it's their extreme wear and this is in Peach Beach number 480. This is another like sparkly confetti type of nail polish. This is going to have like a clear base to it. It's in Samba 730 and it's green and blue sparkles. Um, again with like that clear base. I thought this one would be cute for like your ring finger. You know how you could do a different color. I thought this would be fun to just kind of change it up. I picked up this really pretty purple. This is color 117 Purple Passion and this one just has some really nice shimmer to it. I love orange and purple together as you can see. So I had to pick up this one by Milani which is their orange burst uh, it does have like sparkles in it again and it's kind of gonna be like a shimmery version of what I have on now and I need to redo my nails so I might just see what this is all about all right so my next one is another pink one this one is kind of less bubblegummy pink it's called hottest pink um, but I do love everything girly I love pinks and purples I'm such a girly girl the next ones I'm gonna show you are by Revlon this one I picked up for the spring. I thought this would be cute for spring, summer, like Easter time. Um, it's their Nail Art Expressionists. On one side, it's a nail polish brush. On the other side, it is a brush for doing details and like designs on your nails. So on this one, the green is your main color and the yellow is your detail color. I also picked up this one and blue is your main color and pink is your like design color. I just really liked these combos together. So next, I only found two of these. I know people were finding these like crazy before, but when I went, this is all that they had for the Sally Hansen Nail Effects. This is the Reverse French. This is like no dry time. You just peel and go. I'm really, really excited to try these because I wait until the boys go to bed to try to paint my nails. I like that it comes with the cuticle stick, the mini nail filer, and the buffer. So it gives you everything you need to do your nails right in this little box. The next one I bought was this one by Sally Hansen. This one didn't come in a box. It came in like a different pack package but I really liked the design on this it was just different and I don't know why but I've been loving orange nails lately so all right so on to the lip glosses they're all by Milani so I got this one here in secret it's kind of in a nude color and I like that because I can throw this in my purse and no matter really what's going on with my makeup this will always kind of go with what I am wearing for makeup I picked up this one in fruit punch um, it's a little pink and it might be a little too bright but for a dollar Milani gave it a shot why not and the last one I picked up is this one. It kind of has a shimmery sparkle to it. And this one's in Summer Baby. I don't know why they call it summer. It doesn't really remind me much of summer. I actually think it's more of a fall, but that's just me. I picked up this Nivea cream. Um, I don't know if this is a good deal for a dollar or not. Um, but if you know me, you know that I have a crazy obsession with containers and jars and that kind of thing. And I don't know why, but this little container just spoke to me and I needed it in my life and I needed it in my purse. And I thought that even though this might not have been a great deal for a dollar, 
I would put some like thick lotion. I don't know, I'll use this container for something. I'll use it later, I don't know why but I needed this. I also picked up this Milani eyeshadow stick. It's in the color Royal Purple 06. It's very highly pigmented. I didn't expect it to be quite as pigmented, but I am girly again, and I do like purples in my eyeshadow, and I thought this would be fun to just play around with. I love these cotton rounds. I'll use them if I don't have makeup remover wipes with coconut oil to take off my makeup. I'll use them to take off my nail polish. I go through them quite a bit, and these are way more expensive at CVS. The last item that I have that I consider beauty item is my scarf because it makes me feel beautiful. Uh, I really like this. I've never bought their scarves before and I've watched a few hauls. So this is two scarves because one wouldn't really look full enough. So next I'm gonna show you what I picked up for the boys' Easter baskets. Um, they love these. They love these washcloths. I will say that when you first use them, they're a little rough and they'll like almost hurt your skin. So I suggest washing them a few times before you actually use them. Once you wash them a couple times, they're perfectly fine. We got one in Lightning McQueen and we got another one in Mater. I found these puzzles and I love getting puzzles at the Dollar Tree. Obviously they're super cheap and if they lose the piece, I don't care. So this one is Numbers. And I also picked up one with ABCs and we did animals and I picked up shapes. So I picked up these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. Uh, these have 50 pieces instead of 25, um, but I want them to start getting ready for the next level of puzzles, the next step and the, you know, more pieces. So now they can try these with me and we can do them together um, where they can use the other ones alone. But this way we're gonna start practicing getting into uh, smaller puzzle pieces. I picked up these glow sticks. My kids love glow sticks. They love to turn off the lights and give us a light show. Uh, as a matter of fact, I will insert a little clip here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the deucing mommy. Those boys are a trip. But anyway, I thought they would really like it. It's a ring toss game. I picked up these guys. These are two-toned, so you're gonna get half yellow, half green. I've never seen the two-tone ones before, and they never have either, so I know they're gonna be like, whoa. We got some socks. My kids like socks. They like picking out socks. They like colored socks, and three socks for a dollar is not a bad deal, and I know this might sound cheesy to put in an Easter basket, but my kids will actually be really excited to get some new socks in their Easter basket. All right, guys, that's all that I have for you in this video. I just didn't want to keep you here forever watching an hour-long Dollar Tree haul, so tune back in tomorrow because I will be uploading part two, and we will have stationery as well as some random items, and yes, I'll be wearing the exact same thing because I'm going to film it right now, so no judgment, people. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this haul please show that like button some love we do Dollar Tree hauls occasionally and I do a ton of like Trader Joe's hauls and I also vlog my life as a mom of multiples if that's your sort of thing please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye I've never tried these before the Jojo's they're like a wannabe I guess knockoff dupe for the Oreo a healthier version of an Oreo I love Oreo cookies my sister said they're disgusting um, but then I've heard people say that they're like the better than Oreos and I it's either or they absolutely love them or they absolutely hate them So I thought I'd give them a shot